I'm leaving it all up, up to you. I pre lubed all lifters before I installed them in the block. Okay, when I get ready to adjust my uh, roller rockers, I want to adjust them in their firing order. I will adjust the intake and exhaust valve in their firing order. I've got them all inserted except this last one, which happens to be the exhaust. So we get this one in. And we get started. There you go. Now in order to adjust the uh, rockers, I need to start with the number one piston on the compression stroke at uh, top dead center. So, I'm going to confirm that I'm on the compression stroke on the number one piston. Now I'm going to turn it clockwise so the intake valve is opening. I'm drawing fuel in, so now it's closing. So both my valves are closed and the number one piston is rising. So I'm going to bring it up to top dead center. It should be right there, top dead center. Now the next firing order is number five. So I'm going to go down to piston number five. And I'm going to turn this crank clockwise until piston number five, where I can feed it with my finger here, comes up to top dead center. There it is, the top dead center right there. And as you can see, I painted a red mark at the TDC mark. The next firing order is uh, pistol number three. Okay, there's the top dead center. Again, you can see I painted a red mark at the TDC mark. Next firing order is pistol number six. There it is, the top dead center right there, and now I'm back at my original timing marks. The next uh, piston firing order is piston number two. Okay, there it's coming up. Deep with my finger. There's top dead center for piston number two, and again, I painted a red mark at TDC for piston number two. And the last one is piston number four. I can feel it coming up to top dead center. Right there it is, top dead center. And again, I painted a red mark to represent TDC for piston number four. Okay, I'm ready to clean this block now. This, this surface has got to be free and clean of all dirt, wax, grease, fingerprints. Now I come back, take a tack rag. Take you home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You me. Yeah, I put a little air on Okay, uh, <clears throat> I have my uh, block kit nice and clean. Clean as I can get it. That thing really needs to be clean. Put this gasket on on this motor. This gasket's only going gonna to go one way. You put it on upside down or backwards, and then your port's not going to land up. Okay, got a couple studs in there to put that in the field on. Whew! Sucker's heavy. Well, I ain't as good as I once was. Okay, I'm getting ready to put this uh, water neck on. Oh, this needs to be cleaned real good. As you can see, it's pretty well pitted. So, I'm going to use right stuff here. I'm just going to smear some of it around. This bolt hole goes all the way through to the water jacket, so I need to use uh, the right stuff there when I get ready to put that bolt in. Now, I had put... Uh, right stuff here earlier and set this uh, in then I came back and kind of smoothed it off here so I'm going to clean it again and then I'm going to go here and put a bead put a couple of stud guides in now here I'm going to use uh, I'm going to put right stuff on both sides of the gasket so 
here I'm going to go ahead and put it on this. Just remember this thermostat, this part here goes inside the, uh, the head. Okay, now, before I put this water pump on, I have to confirm that this boat does not penetrate down into this uh, water pump housing area. I bought a four and a quarter inch stud because on this block I'm using an AC. I screw this nut on all the way down to the stops. This is an 11 16th uh, nut here. And I check down here and it's just barely flush with the opening down here. So I'm, I'm real good here. I know I'm okay there. Okay, now that I have confirmed that my uh, head bolt here is not going to interfere with my water pump, so this needs to be cleaned real good. And when you're dealing with water, water ports, it's a good thing to uh, put your sealer on both sides of the gasket. Okay, here I'm using right stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just finger some on. It's really not necessary to do it this way, it's just a habit of mine. Okay, this hole here is a true hole, and this hole here is a true hole. Okay. I'm going to throw this gasket on there. And here you can see where I put a bead around the water pump. Okay, on this one I'm going to put right stuff on there. Okay, now it's time to torque these, uh, these bolts down. So I'm going to go in here and number the torquing sequence. Throw some ARP lube on your bolt. The width of this tip here. And this is all you want on there here. You can do the same on the top end. Just the width of this tip here is all you need. Smooth it out. This is how I do it. Drop her in. Hey, what's up, dude? Okay, you going to your house? What? You going to your house? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, when I put my washers on, I'm just going in and put just a little ARP on the side of that washer that hits the, uh, that meets up with the uh, head. Okay, this is my third torque. Again, following the torque and sequence. Okay, with the yellow tier uh, dual rollers, it requires a base plate. Okay, I'm now ready to, to, to uh, determine my push rod length. This is an adjustable push rod. So I'm going to run it in. And I'm going to set it on the number one uh, intake valve. And with these dual rollers, I need to run uh, these spacers in order to give the roller the proper position so that these tips will roll center to this valve stem. So let's do it. I'm gonna make sure this is low enough. Okay, now that I have my dual roller on, I'm on the number one piston on the intake valve. Uh, the intake piston is the top dead center on the compression stroke. My marks on the damper lines up with TDC. You want to set this uh, last adjustment here to the midpoint. Now you want to make, bring this uh, push rod adjuster up. Okay, with your lash adjustment set at the midpoint, you want to take all the lash out. You don't want any, any slop in there. You don't want to make it so tight that you take up any of that slack. I'm ready to take the rollers off and measure that push rod. Now I'm going to take a measurement on this push rod. 
and it looks like I need about an 8 and 1 16. Now I'm going to put a little, little grease on uh, both ends. This is uh, assembly grease. Okay, uh, I got uh, my pedestals in for my drill rollers. I got all my push rods in. I got a uh, break-in loop, a real good uh, dab of break-in loop on each push rod. I'm gonna put some here on these uh, valve stems. And number five, number five is next, so I'll go ahead and load that up with some grease. Be sure and back off of these adjustments before you tighten these things down. My number one piston is at top dead center on the compression stroke, and my dampener marks are lined up on TDC. I'm ready to adjust these rockers. And I have the slack out. I want to turn it about a half a turn and then lock it down. Back it up just a little bit and take them both down. Do the same on the exhaust. Okay, I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to turn it half a turn. Not quite a half a turn, just a little shot. And then I'm going to turn them both together to make the. And now we want to, then to go in the firing order, we want to set the intake and exhaust valves on the next piston that fires, which is number five. So I'm going to turn it to my first red mark that we had made earlier. I'm going to set that red mark on TDC. Okay, now number five is top dead center, and I'm ready to adjust the intake and exhaust valve. I'm going to put some ARP on uh, my uh, rocker studs. Again, I'm going to back off on these adjustments. Okay, now I'm going to run this down until I get zero last here. Again, we're going to go one half turn down further. Not quite one half, maybe. And then turn them both to a full one half turn. We're going to go one half turn again. Next piston that fires is going to be number three. So it's going to be this one. So you'll turn uh, your crank to the next red mark. Right there. Now you're ready to set number three. And just continue in the firing order until you got them all set. That's the way I did it. Okay, now put a little oil on these things. and oiled up, we're ready to go. Okay, go in now and clean off the overspray. There you go. But I tell you what, I'm as good once as I ever was. <laughs> well, that's all the time I have for this thrilling episode, but stay tuned more to come. And remember this, today is the first day of the rest of your life. And let me love again. And I